Rutgers scientists are probing the recently sequenced genomes of corn and related plants for ways to improve both food crops and potential biofuel sources. They share their insights with other researchers at the 50th annual Maize Genetics Conference in Washington. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. In the 50 years since scientists who study the genetics of maize, better known as corn in the U.S., began meeting as a research community, the tools of their trade have changed in revolutionary ways. And there is more pressure than ever on the plants they study, modify, and breed. As ethanol and livestock producers compete for corn supplies in the U.S., prices are rising in countries that rely on corn as a primary staple food. Last week, researchers celebrated the completion of a draft sequence for the maize genome, more complex and eight times longer than the rice genome, for instance, but well worth the effort, according to Waxman Institute director Joachim Messing. Despite the technical difficulties or the cost of sequencing a larger genome, maize has the advantage that it has a very rich genetics. In other words, we know a lot about important traits. So it's like we're getting a road map. Messing says this road map can serve as a guide for what amounts to accelerated breeding, bringing out traits that already exist within the natural variability of the species. Bioinformatics researcher Remy Brugman is taking the lead on one of the newest projects here, essentially an effort to cross-reference information encoded in two different but related genomes, maize and sorghum. Traits expressed in one plant may be transferable to the other. They hope to make the stems produce sugar, as some kinds of sorghum do, so that corn stalks rather than ears could feed biofuel operations. Meanwhile, one of the Institute's past discoveries, a way to make corn more nutritious, is moving closer to fruition. And I currently have support from the Rockefeller Foundation to um, bring this solution to African countries. It's in the process of entering the breeding stages uh, so that we could uh, provide improved uh, corn for, for, for Africa. Other topics on the research agenda address potential adaptations to a changing climate. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Piscataway.